Tonight, a North Kingstown teenager is facing charges following a brutal attack that was caught on camera. The shocking video was sent to us by an Eyewitness News viewer through Report It. We looked into it and discovered the alleged assailant is the son of a local lawyer who was recently arrested on social host charges now before her case was later dismissed. Now, we warn you, the video we're about to show you is very violent, and some may find it disturbing. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen is live in our newsroom now with more on the investigation. Well, just as Jane Donegan's legal problems were coming to an end, her son Jack Donegan's are just beginning. The police report detailed a violent attack. The video we obtained shows it. Punch after punch after punch. Police confirmed this video we obtained is of an alleged assault by 18-year-old Jack Donegan. He's the son of Jane Donegan, who made headlines for being arrested for allegedly violating the social host law earlier this year. That charge was later dropped, though. Her son Jack turned himself in days after this video surfaced. He's charged with simple assault and disorderly conduct. The police report I obtained says the alleged victim and Jack Donegan are friends and were playing Xbox in Jane Donegan's home on April 29th. Jane wasn't home, according to the report, but one of Jack's other friends filmed the 21 second long video. I swear my you can hear the victim pleading for the punches to stop. According to the report, the victim says Jack later asked to pay the victim so that he doesn't press charges. The victim didn't accept the deal and went to police. The report states the victim suffered a mild concussion, contusions, and a neck sprain. Also in the report, the victim told police he has headaches and internal injuries that caused him to vomit blood after the assault. Jack Donegan was arraigned and released on $1,000 personal recognizance. Attorney William Devereaux sent us a statement on behalf of the Donegan family, quote, Ms. Donegan loves her son very much, but is very upset about this incident and disappointed in the behavior she's learned about. While her son believed the alleged victim stole certain valuables from her home over a period of time, this was not a way to deal with it. It's important to note these two cases are unrelated. And coming up new at 6, I'll tell you a little bit more about how the report says this fight started and also what the victim says Jane told him after he called her. Live in the newsroom, I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.